Hey everybody, uh, this uh, problem solving lesson uh, is about multiplication with, uh, with uh, fractions. So it's our second lesson. So how can we uh, uh, use the strategy draw a diagram to help us solve fraction division problems by writing a multiplication sentence, okay? All right, so let's get started here. So Jimmy makes six bacon dogs, a bacon dog, for a camp breakfast. He cuts each bacon dog into thirds. How many third size bacon dog pieces does he have? Okay, so let's answer a series of questions right here. Well, what do we need to find? We always need to find this last piece right there. How many third size bacon dog uh, pieces does he have right there? Okay. What information are we going to use? We need to use the size of each, uh, he's cutting these, the size of each cut of the sandwich of the bacon dogs and then uh, the number um, of uh, pieces that he cuts, okay? So how will we use this information? Well, the, the strategy in this is to draw a diagram so we can draw a diagram to help organize the information from the problem. Then we can use the organization, uh, the organized information to find uh, the total number of, of third size pieces. Okay, so here we go. So since Jimmy cuts six bacon dogs, our diagram needs to show six rectangles to represent the six dogs. Okay, and we're, we're cutting them up into thirds. So now let's divide each of the six rectangles into thirds. Okay, so there's the thirds right there. So... Uh, so how many third size pieces are there? Well, here's 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 3 more is 9, plus 3 more is 12, plus 3 more is 15, plus 3 more is 18. So there's 18 third size pieces right there. So 6 divided by 1 third is the same as 6 times 3, because there's 3 pieces in each of these 6 uh, bacon dogs right here. So 6 times 3 is going to get us 18 pieces right there. So let's answer the question. So Jimmy has 18 one third size bacon dog pieces. Yummy. Okay, let's try another one. Chuck is cutting three pizzas in half to give his to his friends. Uh, how many friends will get a half piece of pizza? Well, we need to find how many friends will get a half size pizza from three pizzas. So let's, um, here's three circles right here, and we're going to cut them in half right here. So this shows us what three divided by one half is. So we're cutting each one into uh, two pieces. So we have here's half and half, here's half and half, and half and half, and there's three of them. So three divided by one half, okay? So there are six half size pieces. So three divided by one half is the same as six right there, okay? So six friends will get a half size pizza right there. P piece of cake, huh? Or piece of pizza. <laughs> so explain how the diagram we made for the division problem helps us write a multiplication sentence. Okay, well in this one here, uh, we had three circles and we cut them into half right there and it gave us three times two, which is six. Okay, so, so this division problem, three divided by one half is the same as three times two. Okay, so three divided by one half is the same as three times two, which is six right there. In the first one, we had six divided by one third and so when we cut up these six uh, rectangles into thirds it gave us six times three pieces right there so it gave us 18 on that okay all right nice and fast okay take care